Hi guys, welcome to a new quick tutorial. Today let's talk about ride high. What is the ride high? It's the distance between the bottom of your chassis to the ground. Of course, it's a really important setup. It will change the way your car behaves on the track, how the weight transfer to the front or to the rear, to the left or to the right. So for sure, you will need to check the ride height as much as possible and make it consistent. First, to measure your ride height, you might need some tools, a flat table for sure. We have today the RSRC carbon fiber setup board. It will for sure help you doing your ride height correctly. And then also a ruler or some tools that we sell online to measure the distance between your chassis and uh, the ground. So what I recommend is you let your car go about 30 centimeters from the table, you let it sit, and then you measure the distance between the chassis and the table. We're gonna measure just behind the front arms where the chassis is flat. And in the back, we're gonna measure just in front of the rear arms. For one eight buggy, the values are gonna be between 22 and 28 in the front and 26, 30 in the back. To adjust your ride height now, it's gonna be here with the spring tension. The more you screw, the more tense your spring is gonna be and the higher your car will be. If you untie it, your car will sit lower. A lower car will be more reactive. It will be more aggressive. It will roll less into the corners and it's really recommended for high grip tracks, flat tracks. On the opposite, a higher car will take more roll, it will be more predictable, and it might be also a little bit easier to drive. If your ride high is lower in the front, your car will have more steering. It will also have more traction because when you accelerate, that ride high being lower in the front will compensate the acceleration and your chassis might stay a little bit flatter through the acceleration and you will gain traction. On the opposite, if your ride high is higher in the front, when you accelerate, you will lose traction because your ride high is already squatting. In this way, it will be a little bit easier in the bumps, but you will lose traction out of the corner. The car might be a little bit easier to drive, but it might be slower. Personally, I prefer the ride high to be a little bit diving, so lower in the front, higher in the back. My basic ride high is 24 millimeter in the front, 28 millimeter in the back. That's it for today. See you guys for the next tutorial.